This is the new 2024 Tesla Model 3 next to the 2023 version. And if you haven't seen my last video last year, you wouldn't know that I got the 2023 Tesla Model 3 over a year ago, way before this one came out. Also keep in mind that I'm not a financial expert, but just a person who is super passionate and loves to take a look at the newest and greatest. All right, starting on the outside, you can tell right away it has a quote unquote facelift, smaller headlights, a more aggressive front end, and the color is so much brighter having the new ultra red color. From the side, of the Teslas, you really cannot tell them apart with them being around the same length and design. Spinning around back, I would have to say I found the bigger external changes with the tail lights being attached to the trunk and having a really nice sporty back bumper compared to last year's model. Not much change is really made on the outside, the beauty is in the inside. Starting in the driver's seat, we have gotten a whole new interior, starting with the steering wheel. I've completely fallen in love with the new design, all but the removal of the stock. You now unfortunately switch your gears either on the screen or on the ceiling, with also having turn signals and windshield wiper controls on the wheel as well. The positive side of everything is that it is more minimalistic, and that's the beauty of Tesla, but it's just not convenient. Some things I do actually enjoy is that they have gotten rid of the wood trim and added a soft material instead with LED lights surrounding the whole interior. The middle console has also changed with there now being only one USB-C port opposed to two, but with this one being 60 amps allowing you to charge a laptop. The cup holder now has a cover on it adding to that minimalistic look when not in use, while a dual sliding drawer for the set. All the seats now are perforated with the front being cooled and heated with a more stylish new look. seats you now have a rear entertainment display which even allows you to control the airflow just like the front So if you're like me and you own the 2023 Tesla Model 3 and you want to have a rear entertainment display, Tesla C makes a rear entertainment display that has CarPlay, Bluetooth audio, even speakers on it that looks very identical to the 2024 Tesla Model 3. Let me show you. As you can see, the screen matches so well with the car already, making it seem as if it was an OEM product all to begin with. I'm definitely very happy with the way it turned out. Moving to the bottom of the screen, you can tell right away it's got two vents for airflow. Below that, enhance the passenger experience with built-in speakers for immersive audio and Bluetooth headphone compatibility for personalized entertainment. You can also take command of comfort with the front passenger seat control, enabling on-the-fly adjustments for optimal leg room. And of course, in the winter season, staying cozy with the ability to activate all three, not two, all three heated seats providing unmatched comfort on chilly drives. Altogether, this rear entertainment display actually does more than the 2024 models display as it is an Android Auto compatibility, making you be able to download more apps than what Tesla offers. So click the link down below, get yourself one today. Thank you so much Tesla C for sending this out. Now let's do some side-by-side -side comparisons. The door panel obviously now has LED lights on it with only one carpeted material compared to last year. Next, 
fixed in the 2023 model in the middle pillar it doesn't have speakers while in the 2024 model it has a speaker adding to that beautiful sound system also adding to the new sound system the 2024 model has subwoofers while the 2023 model does not Another thing I found cool is that on the 2024 model, they added a new latch on the bottom of the doors while previously they had nothing. This is supposed to help reduce road and wind noise. They also carpeted the new model door trim which I really enjoy as the old model gets really scratched up with the plastic so I ended up actually adding a protector to mine. So who is this car for? Well I'll say if you're interested in buying a model 3 and don't own one already, do it. This is the best model 3 they have ever made. But if you're like me and already own one, I don't personally believe it's that big of an upgrade to spend another $40,000 into getting especially because it doesn't qualify for any tax credits here in the United States. But with the tax credits being said, I do have to say comparing the prices of this Model 3 to the Model Y, it'd be a no-brainer to go with the Model Y because you get more space, a faster and bigger battery, and for a lot cheaper prices due to the tax credit right now. Just taking a look at the rear-wheel drive Tesla Model 3 2024 model, it is $38,990 with no tax credits being applied. While the Model Y rear-wheel drive is $42,990, which is four grand more, but subtracting $7,500 off of $42,000 makes it only $35 thousand dollars and if that's not crazy you can get the long range model y for forty thousand dollars right now because of the federal tax credit this is the cheapest the model y has ever been ever and i just it's unbelievable that we are talking about a brand new model 3 that doesn't qualify for any federal tax credits but you can get a model y long range for the same price so I know these are two complete different vehicles. One's a hatchback SUV and one is more of a sporty sedan. And I get that the sporty sedan is nice looking, but the Model Y right now still qualifies for the federal tax credit, which is allowing you to get more for your money. So take as that as you will. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I got a whole bunch of videos planned this year for electric vehicles unrelated to Tesla. And not only that, I have a lot of other type of videos such as electric bikes and scooters I have made in the past and in the future coming out soon. Go ahead and check a few of those out in the link down below. With that being said, you guys have a great day and let's move forward into the world of sustainable energy.